Hey guys, this is Debbie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we speak life. Speak what you seek until you see what you said. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys 10 quick and easy hairstyles that you guys can do with really long hair. Now, before we get started with anything, if you have not yet, please click the subscription box below to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up at the end, and I will greatly appreciate it. And I asked my poll um, on Instagram because you guys are honestly the best. And what they wanted to see from me, and a lot of them said hairstyles for long hair or hairstyles in general. And so here I am coming to you guys with 10 quick and easy hairstyles that you guys can do. So all that being said, let's get started with this video. So right now I'm brushing my hair and I'm using this castor oil hair treatment that is amazing. I'm just rubbing it through my hair so that I could be a little bit more shiny and a little bit easier to manage. Now I'm going to part my hair to the side and what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to do a braid right through the middle so I'm going to part one half of my hair and then I'm going to part the other half as well. Once I have my section I am going to do a braid so I'm going to start with three pieces and I'm going to braid my way back adding hair to the side and in the middle. Once I have my braided section, I am going to tie it with an elastic band. You could choose to go all the way down on the braid, but I'm just going to do midway and just secure it with an elastic band. And I am just going to take the scrunchies out of my hair. And that, my friends, is the first hairstyle. Second hairstyle is basically using the same middle braid except I am just doing a half up hairdo. And so I'm going to just make sure that all my baby hairs are secured back and I'm going to secure that with an elastic band. And that my friends is the second hairstyle. The third hairstyle is again using the same middle braid but instead I am putting it up in a ponytail so I'm going to make sure that all my flyaway hairs are secured back and I am going to tie that with a scrunchie. Once I have my ponytail secured, I am going to get rid of the elastic band and I'm going to unravel the braid. And then I am going to brush my hair back and take a section out of my hair and I'm going to twirl that. And I, what I'm going to end up doing is wrapping it around my hair so that the band or the scrunchie that I put in does not show. could either choose to straighten or curl your hair but here I am curling it just to give it a little bit more volume once I'm done with that that is the final hairstyle Fourth hairstyle, I am going to keep the ponytail, but I am going to wrap it around for a bun look. Like you guys can see, I am just twisting, and as I'm twisting, I'm also wrapping it around my hair, and I'm going to secure that with these clips. Now, trust me guys, there will be hair sticking out, and that's okay, I will fix it later, but I feel like the clips give it a little bit more of a look or design. I'm going to be brushing down my baby hairs because I am going to lay them with this got to be glued. Now guys, this glue is amazing. I don't know how it does it. My hair is very, you know, stubborn, but this glue manages to secure all my flyaways and give me the edges that I want. I'm going to grab that piece that was sticking out and I'm just tucking it inside the bun like you guys will not be able to see it 
and this is the final look. next hairstyle I am going to be parting my hair only on one side um, and again you guys can choose what section is better for your face frame but I am going to part just half of the hair and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna tie the section that I'm not gonna be using so that it's not in the way and then the section that I parted off I am basically going to wrap around my head and secure it behind the ponytail so that you won't be able to see it when I take the ponytail out. Just brushing down my hair so that I could be a little bit more flat and I'm just gonna manage my hair the way I want it. And you guys could choose to leave it like this but I'm adding these awesome little clips that I got from uh, you know online stores or in stores and I feel like it adds a little bit more design to the look so this guys is the next hairstyle The next hairstyle I'm basically going to be brushing up all my hair because I'm parting it in the middle and I'm gonna be doing two sections like I did last time except it's gonna be through the middle the only difference is I am going to be using elastic bands to make it more of a look um, and you guys could choose to use the clear elastic bands or the colorful ones but right now I am going to use the clear ones because there's gonna be something um, that I'm gonna do later on but I'm going to grab a squared section and I'm gonna secure it with the elastic band and then I'm going to square another section like so and then I'm going to secure that, but I will add the section that I secured last time to this one, like so. And I'm going to secure that, and I'm basically going to repeat the steps over again with one side of my hair, and then doing it with the next side as well. So once I have the two sides, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing that I did with the last look. I'm securing it behind the ponytail so that you won't be able to see it when I uh, bring my hair down. And you guys could either choose to leave it like that or you can use these clips that I got at a nearby hairstyle salon which pop them open and then you just put them on top of your hair. You squeeze it down so that it can be secured and it makes the hairstyle look a little bit more hip, a little bit more fresh. So I am doing that on my hair to hide the elastic bands that I used. guys is the look next hairstyle that I'm doing is two braids down the middle so I'm parting my hair right in the middle so I can do a braid on the left side and a braid on the right side so again I'm just grabbing uh, little pieces on one side and I'm braiding it by adding sections to my braid to make it a little bit more bigger because then I am going to be puffing it out making sure that there's a little bit more volume Gonna secure it with a scrunchie and then I'm going to be puffing it out to give it a little bit more volume like so. have that down I'm going to be doing it to the other side and then once I have both of my braids I am going to be using a small headband it's like a very silky headband that I can use to secure my ponytail and I'm going to be tying it over my hair like so
and then I'm going to tighten and make sure it doesn't get loose and then I'm just going to do a little small bow over that. And then I'm going to remove my scrunchies, make sure everything's flat. And that, you guys, is my next hairstyle. If you have any flyaways or bumps in your hair, you could easily use a bobby pin um, or those stylish bobby pins to secure it down like so. Next hairstyle I'm doing is basically similar to the last one where I squared the section. So right now I'm parting my hair in the middle and then I'm going to section it out using half of the hair like so and I'm just tying the hair that I will not be using back. Once I have my two sections, I'm going to brush it out, flatten it, and I am going to be doing the same thing that I did last time, which is squaring off a piece and then securing that with an elastic band. I am going to square off another piece and then while securing that I'm going to attach the same section that I used last time like so into the secured plastic band. After I am done with that I'm going to repeat the same section just three times and then I'm going to be doing it on the other section as well. Once I have everything prepared, I am basically going to grab a section off the back of my hair like an oval shape or enough to make a bun. And what I'm going to be doing is instead of using a scrunchie, I usually put my index finger right in the middle to secure it, making sure that the bun has its form and then I'm just molding my hair to form that bun. And I'm going to secure that with an elastic band. I did this off camera but I basically curled my hair again to give it a little bit more volume and I'm going to add the same accessories on my hair that I did on the last one but this time I'm only going to add two on each section. And this guys is the next hairstyle. The next hairstyle, I'm removing the bun and I'm actually splitting that section into two. I'm pushing the hair back and I'm going to be doing two separate little buns. So I'm going to secure that with an elastic band and if there's any, you know, hair sticking out, you can easily bobby pin it. Make sure that, you know, there's no flyaways or it's safely secured on your head and then you're going to repeat the same steps for it, the next bun like so. Once both buns are secured onto your head, then this, guys, is the look. Okay, guys, and the final hairstyle, I am basically going to be putting this into a ponytail. So I'm still using the same design for the past three hairstyles. I'm going to secure that with an elastic band and you guys could either choose to grab a section and you know tie it around the elastic band so no one sees it, but I'm just going to flatten my hair, make sure it's tight and I'm gonna leave it as so. So this is the final look. Those were all 10 hairstyles that I wanted to show you guys. I hope you really enjoyed them. They were quick, easy. You could either choose to straighten your hair or curl it, depending on what you can do. But those are the 10 hairstyles braided, curled, 
half up, half down, buns, you name it. But I really hope you guys appreciate this video. I will be doing more videos like this, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you guys can catch that. Anyways, that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless.